Welcome back to Cord Cutters LI, where we help to save you money on your cable bill. The NVIDIA Shield is arguably the best streaming device available today, bar none. I've had one of each flavor for about three or four years now, and I just love them both. However, there is one catch. Call it a pet peeve, call it a glitch, call it whatever you want. But every time I pick up that remote, I accidentally press the Netflix button. If you have an NVIDIA Shield or ever thought about getting one, you will want to watch this video. I'll show you how to fix this step-by-step, -step, fast and easy. And I'll give you a hint. Nope, I didn't disable the Netflix button. I like Netflix, and when I want to open it, I still want to be able to open it fast. So if you're ready to learn how to do away with the number one thing NVIDIA Shield owners hate about their top-of-the-line streaming device, sit back, relax, and let's go. Today's video is brought to you by Lumery. They offer intelligent lighting solutions for your home, both inside and out. Toward the end of this video, I'll show you one of these RGB AI smart outdoor lighting kits in action. You will be impressed. Now back to the tutorial. All right, so let me demonstrate what I'm talking about here. As you can see here, if you look at the remote of the NVIDIA Shield, the Netflix button here is right on the bottom, and it's really easy to press. In fact, just picking up the remote, you know, you just squeeze it, and it's very common the Netflix app will just go ahead and open. And that is a pain. I mean, if I had a dollar for every time this happened, I could probably make a car payment, maybe even a mortgage payment at this point. If you own an NVIDIA Shield, you know about this already. I guarantee it. As I said, your option is basically you can go into Netflix, you can go down, you have to go all the way down and all the way over to close it, you know, and so on. The other option is you would hit the home button and then, you know, go to the app that you wanted to open. Well, what I'm going to show you how to do here is to install an app. It's a free app that's available in the Google Play Store that you can get that you can change what this button does. Uh, but more importantly, you can prevent it from just tapping the button and turning it on to Netflix. So the name of that app is called Button Mapper. You can get to it either by going over to the Google Play Store and opening that, or you can just use the voice button on your remote and search for Button Mapper. So there it is right there. You can go ahead and install it. Before I do that, I want to give you a little look into the reviews on this app. It doesn't have the highest number of reviews. It's only 3.5 out of 5. And if you look through a lot of these reviews, you're going to see a lot of people complaining about just this thing, that this app doesn't work with your Netflix uh, button on your NVIDIA Shield. Well, that's because they didn't watch the Cord Cutters Ally video, and I'm going to show you how to make it work reliably on your NVIDIA Shield. So let's go back up to install the app. It'll just take a moment. When it's installed, we can go ahead and open it right up. Now, the first time you open up the app, it's going to tell you that you need to uh, turn on a setting. It says, please go to System Settings, Accessibility, and enable the Button Mapper Accessibility Service. So this app is for general Android TV and Google TV uh, devices. And on the NVIDIA Shield, there is no system settings or accessibility. So it's actually under, if you click OK, and you go down to Device Preferences. Let me move myself out of the way. You go to device preferences and then go all the way down at the bottom and go to accessibility. And then you want to go down to where it says button mapper and turn that on. Before you install the button mapper app, this menu setting isn't even in there. So um, after you install it, that's when you'll see it and that's when you need to turn it on. So go ahead and do that. Click enable, click OK, and then you can go back. And I'm going to move myself back over here. So from this screen, you can actually reprogram any of the buttons on the remote to do various things. Um, but what we're going to focus on today is we're going to actually add a button. Because again, this is sort of a generic app. It doesn't have a button called Netflix, so to speak. Um, and it does have a home button that you can reprogram. It does have a back button, menu button, volume buttons. You're not really going to want to mess around with those. What we want to do is add a custom button. And to do that, you go down to where it says Add Buttons and click it. Go down to where it says Add Buttons. And now it says Press the button to add. So the button on the remote that we want to change the functionality on is Netflix. So just tap the Netflix button once. It's going to say that it's button 12. And then now move down to where it says button 12 and click on it. 
So this is another screen that scares a lot of people away. They say, well, I can't do this because it's a pro feature. And, you know, the default is to unlock it and make you go out and pay for a subscription. Well, you don't need to do that. Um, this functionality that I'm explaining today works with the free version of the Button Mapper app. So I'll just move over to where it says no thanks and click on that. I'll put myself in the middle of the screen. I think that'll be sort of out of the way. So where it says customize, go ahead and toggle that over. And now here's what we can do with this Netflix button. So for a single tap or a quick press of the button, it's going to do the default function of that button. In this case, open up Netflix. That's what we want to avoid. So click on that and change it to where it says no action. So in other words, when you just quickly press the button, it isn't going to do anything. The next thing you want to do is where it says double tap. Same thing. Let's go ahead and disable or say no action for the double tap. Here's where the setting that I like to set it for the Netflix button is it's long press. In other words, so if you long press the Netflix button, then and only then it will open up Netflix. So go into that and you could do all sorts of other actions. But what we want is at the top where it says actions. We want it to go to applications and open up a specific application. In this case, Netflix. So let's scroll down and find Netflix on the list. and click it. So as it says here, single tap isn't going to do anything. A double tap of the Netflix button isn't going to do anything. But if you long press the Netflix button, that will open up Netflix. We're almost done. Not quite yet. A lot of people now will just hit the home button and go and hit the long press the Netflix button, expect it to happen. Or even worse, they'll just short press the Netflix button and expect nothing to happen. But that's not necessarily going to work unless you change this last setting. And this is the most important one. So let's go back, go back again. And now where it says troubleshooting, you want to go down to where it says alternate button handling and select that. So this app out of the box setting this function doesn't work on the NVIDIA Shield. But if you set this setting, alternate button handling and enable that, that's going to make it work on the NVIDIA Shield. It may also be necessary on other devices like the, you know, like the Mi Cool Android TV boxes or maybe even the Chromecast with Google TV. I haven't tested them all, but uh, chances are if it doesn't work, go into that troubleshooting setting and change that and it should work. So now let's go all the way out. Keep hitting back until you get to the home screen or you could just click the home button. And now let's see what happens when we briefly press the Netflix button. Nothing. You can double tap it too. Nothing. I don't know if you can hear that. Nothing's happening. But if I long press the Netflix button, there we are. It opens up Netflix. So chances are the likelihood of you long pressing the Netflix button just by either picking it up or handing it to another person or something is very, very unlikely, right? So that's it. That's how to do it. All right, now let's take a closer look at the Lumery Smart LED Pathway Light Kit. These pathway lights from Lumery come in a six pack and they are super easy to set up. You can use the remote control that comes with it for some basic functions, or you can use the Lumery app like I do. The whole package is IP65 rated, so they're dustproof and water resistant. I've had these set up for a while now, and we've had a couple of serious rainstorms and they're still working great. With literally 16 million colors at your fingertips, you can create all sorts of lighting effects. Whether you like all the lights to stay on one color or choose from several built-in scenes that are fully customizable, it's up to you. Here we have them all set to Halloween orange. Of course, you can just use standard white that does an amazing job at lighting up the path when you're walking down the driveway. The app has built-in timers, so you can have them automatically turn on and off at whatever times you'd like. If you'd like some more information or want to pick up a set of Lumery lights, you'll find a link to their website below where you'll find everything they have to offer. So there you go, a short and sweet video on showing you how to Get rid of the one thing I hate about my NVIDIA Shield. If you have one, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you're thinking about getting one soon, save this video because you will be back to do this. I guarantee it. So if you learned anything today, please go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, share this and all of your favorite Cord Cutters Ally videos with your friends. This helps to get my video shown to more people on YouTube and it supports the channel. Thanks so much for watching.